Anderson Cooper 360, weeknights at 8 and 10 on CNN. She walks down the jail hallway in handcuffs. Marissa Alexander has been sentenced to 20 years behind bars, convicted of aggravated assault with a deadly weapon. She says she was defending herself, standing her ground from a husband who had been arrested before on charges of abusing her. He was arrested for doing what to you? Um, he, uh, he choked me, he uh, pushed me forcefully into the tub, um, he pushed me so hard into the closet that I hit my head against the wall and I kind of passed out for a second. Her husband received probation after yeah. that incident. Months later, Alexander says she was in the bathroom at their home here in Jacksonville, Florida, when her husband started pounding on the door. She says he was in a jealous rage over text messages on her cell phone. He managed to get the door open, and that's when he, he strangled me. He put his, his hands around my neck. Alexander got away from her husband and then made a fateful decision. She could have run out the front door and escaped. Instead, she ran into the garage, but says she did not have her car keys and the garage door was stuck. So instead, she grabbed her gun she kept in this garage. And what did you think you were going to do with it? I thought that I was going to have to protect myself. I. Were you thinking you might have to shoot him? Yeah, I did, if it, if it came to that. He saw my weapon at my side, and when he saw it, he was even more upset, and that's when he threatened to kill me. But how, how is he going to kill you if you're the one with the gun? I agree. I thought it was crazy, too. Um, but why didn't you run out the door at that point? I, I, there was no other way to get out the door. He was, he was right there threatening to kill me. What if he would have gone me? around him to go out the door? And went, your life would have been easier today if you did that. Yeah, but the law states I don't have to. The law she's talking about is the controversial stand your ground law. Instead of running, she did what she thought was allowed by law. She believes she stood her ground and fired the gun into the wall. Nobody was hurt, but it was enough to scare her husband, Rico Gray, and he left the house with his two young children from a previous relationship. Alexander was safe from her husband, but not from the law. She was arrested, her stand your ground defense rejected, and found guilty by a jury. Marissa Alexander's husband, Rico Gray, agreed to do an on-camera interview with us to counter his wife's allegations. But a few hours later, he made the decision not to do the interview, claiming that going on camera would put his life in danger. However, later, he sent us an email saying he would do an interview if he got paid, which CNN does not do. But he has already said quite a bit. During a deposition with a prosecutor from the Office of State Attorney Angela Corey and a defense attorney for his wife, Rico Gray acknowledged hitting his wife in the past and said this about the shooting incident, quote, If my kids weren't there, I knew I probably would have tried to take the gun from her. I probably would have put my hand on her. Marissa Alexander's attorney then asked the husband what he meant about putting his hand on her. And Rico Gray responded, Probably hit her. I got five baby mamas, and I put my hands in every last one of them except for one. I believe when he threatened to kill me, that's what he was going to do. That's exactly what he intended to do. And it, had I not discharged my weapon at that point, I would not be here. But later, at a court hearing to determine whether Marissa Alexander should get immunity based on the Stand Your Ground law, Rico Gray changed his story, saying he lied repeatedly in the deposition to protect his wife, claiming he did not threaten to kill her, and testifying, quote, I begged and pleaded for my life when she had the gun. The jury deliberated for 12 minutes before convicting her. The Jacksonville NAACP wrote a letter to the trial judge saying Marissa Alexander may not have received justice because of her gender, race, or economic status. Some African-American news websites are saying much the same thing, that if Marissa had been white, her stand your ground defense would have been accepted and she wouldn't be facing 20 years in prison. But Alexander will not say if she agrees with that possibility. I'm, I'm going to be honest with you, I'm uncomfortable answering that. For now, Marissa Alexander's main hope is that an appellate court agrees to hear her case. She had a baby girl with Rico Gray three years ago, but she only sees her child in photographs. Rico Gray has custody. He's considered the victim, his wife the criminal. This isn't my life I'm fighting for. This is my life, and it's my life, and it's not entertainment. It is my life. The 20-year sentence is a mandatory 20 years, meaning no chance of parole. Gary Tuckman, CNN, Jacksonville, Florida.